in this video we will try to compare the three states of matter on the basis of their physical properties and we will try to do it in a tabular form so it is comparison of three states of matter on the basis of physical properties let us make a table in which in the first column we will write down the properties on the basis of which we will be comparing so this is going to be our first column then we will write down about solids then the next state that is liquid and the last that is gaseous state so properties of solid liquid and gases so the first property that we are talking about is space between the particles so this is our property on which we want to compare solids liquids and gases in case of solids the space between the particles is minimum in gases the space between the particles is maximum and this we have already discussed in our previous uh, videos what about liquid in liquid there is space but it is not that much as is in the case of gases so we say it is moderate there is space but not too much the second property is the force of attraction between the particles in case of solids the force of attraction is maximum and that is why the particles are so close to each other that there is no space so here the force of attraction is maximum and in gases it is going to be minimum and that is why the particles are so spaced out and what will be in case of liquid again in between the two so this is moderate the next property is kinetic energy of the particles kinetic energy is the energy possessed by moving particles they have a very solids have a very strong force of attraction so they remain with each other they don't move away from each other so that means here it is going to be minimum energy the particles because they are not moving minimum energy and in gases the particles are going to move away from each other and why are they able to move because they don't have that much of force of attraction so here it is going to be maximum energy is maximum because the force of attraction is minimum so they have a tendency of moving away from each other in case of liquids it is again going to be moderate let us take one more property and that is shape shape of solid shape of liquid and shape of gases solids have a fixed shape so if you see a block of something say a block of iron or something which is uh, say made up of wood so whatever its shape is it is going to remain in that shape suppose we have a block like this so it is going to remain like this 
you keep it in any type of container. Suppose we keep it in say this container. So, this is the container. So, solid is going to retain its shape. They have fixed shape. What about liquids? Suppose we take water and fill it in a glass which has a shape like this. And another glass which has a shape like this. So, water is going to take the shape of the container. So, here the water will fill this glass and here water will fill this glass. So, we say that they take the shape of the container. Whatever your container is, whatever the shape of the container is, if it is elongated, the water will look like elongated, fill the complete thing. If it is like a spread out thing, water will fill that also. In case of gases, no fixed shape because suppose you take a balloon and inflate it. While inflating, what do we do? We blow air into it, that is gas and whatever is the shape of the balloon. So, gas is going to take the shape of that container again. So, it also takes the shape of the container. Now, when we are talking about this, we can also discuss about another thing that is volume. Solids have fixed shape and its volume is also fixed. So, they have fixed volume. In case of liquid, they take the shape of the container. But suppose in this glass, you have say 100 milliliter of water and say the glass is this big. So, the volume is going to remain 100 ml, whether you fill in this shape of the container or this shape. That means they also have fixed volume. In case of gases, if you have a smaller balloon, the air fills in the complete space of the balloon. So, the volume of air becomes like the volume of the balloon. If we start blowing air into a big balloon, it will take the uh, complete space inside that big balloon. That means they do not have fixed shape and they do not have fixed volume. No fixed volume. We say they occupy the entire space of the container. So, if the container is small, the particles will remain in that small area. You shift the same amount of same volume of gas in a bigger container because the particles, they have high kinetic energy, less force of attraction. They keep moving all around. So, solids have fixed shape and fixed volume. Liquids do not have a fixed shape but have fixed volume. And gases, no fixed shape, no fixed volume. They will occupy the entire space and the entire volume of the container in which you place them. So, volume wise, shape wise, we know what, uh, what is going to happen. So, we have compared it on the basis of whether the particles have the space. We can also take the property like can we compress them. So, next property is compression. Compression means you bring the part particles closer. In case of solids, the particles are almost close to each other like this. Now, no matter how much force you apply, you cannot bring the particles even closer. So, can not be compressed. In case of liquids, the particles are little away from each other and if we apply force or pressure, we can bring these particles closer, but it is going to take efforts. So, can be compressed 
And in case of gases, one particle is here, the other is here, and the third is here, fourth is here. So they can be brought closer very easily. So can be compressed very easily. So these are some important properties on the basis of which we can compare the three states of matter. What would be the behavior of solids? What kind of particles they would have? What type of attraction is there in the particles of this? And then liquids and gases. And you would find that the solids and gases, they are on the extremes. And in case of liquid, it is everything more or less moderate. And the reason is that the particles have space. Not too much, not too less. And that is why all these properties come into the moderate zone. So, this table will help us understand the comparison of these three states of matter on the basis of these some physical properties.